Hello, people, and welcome back for episode, I believe this may be 41, of Minds of Insanity Season 3 Beta Single Player. Um, now, where we left off last time, we were just breaking into Manulium Tools, and I was about to start making um, parts for sword, uh, for sword so that I could... Uh, easily smite my foes. Uh, but I also did just discover that well, I don't have a whole lot of foes, but they're definitely easily smited with things a lot softer than this. Uh, also, let me get that back up. Don't need any of this crap now. Already. No, wait, no, I need to get that back. Okay, so, right, now, I can now make a Manulian, uh, pickaxe, simply by adding these three together, mm. deal increased damage to targets at full health. Devour during combat, you deal more damage, but also consume more durability, more and more durability. I'm willing to deal with that. Okay, so we have a good Manulian pickaxe now. Next, let's make ourselves a Manulian sword. Hmm. Hmm. Well, we could get two tough rods, a big plate, and this for a nice cleaver, but I think a normal weapon would do fine for now. So, let's get some casts, or patterns, and, uh, see what we can do. Okay, let me get the blank pattern. Okay. No, that's not what we want. Ah, yes. Now, we need a sword blade pattern. That's right. Also, what is the recipe for patterns again? I'm sorry, I know we just looked this up last episode, but... Oh, wait, hold on. Okay, this is... Ah. There. Okay, let's see here. Okay, well, hold on. I'm sure I can figure out how to make a stencil pretty easily. Oh, yeah, it just uses wood and sticks. That's right. Let me see here. Sticks. And, oh, those bookshelves can't use them. No, far too valuable. Oh, there's our wood. 
You know, I'll make some more stencils. I don't think we'll need more than three. Actually, no. No way. Other orientation. Twelve. Okay then, well that was a mistake on my part, but okay, that's fine. That's fine. We have no use for this many, but I'll use it anyway. Uh, let us make a... Wide guard. Okay, and we also need a tool rod stencil. We already have a tool rod. Let's go ahead and make one for a large sword blade. A large and a uh, tough tool rod, too. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, and then I'll just put these extra patterns away for now. Because we, we aren't going to make that just yet. Okay, yeah. Okay, so first things first, we have to make a stone wide guard, and we have to make a stone sword blade. There's, there's no getting around it. Um, yeah. So, let's, uh, let's make the gear. We'll have to, uh, sacrifice these two worthless pieces of, uh, equipment. Okay. Oh, right, right. Uh, we have no more gold. So, let me get the gold out. Okay, Bert, I'm getting kind of tired of you getting up in my grill here. There you are, gold. I was about to turn around and shank the bird. I really was. I'll need to find, I'll need to make a hanger for it. That, that'll be my project for the next episode or so. Yeah, hanger, specifically to move these griffins out of here because I'm tired of looking at them and they're being annoying. Okay. Actually, no, let me keep one of those. And I'll throw in this chest plate. Molten obsidian, molten iron, molten manuleum. Molten ardite, too. Yeah, maybe we could make something with ardite. Oh, wait, right. Okay, I have six ingots worth here. So, let's cast. There. Now, let's put these patterns back in the chest, because, well, to be honest, there's not much use in us carrying around patterns that we can't use. Okay, and we'll forge just this tool. Now we have two pickaxes here that we can officially just retire because they're of no use to us. However, I am kind of sad because...
because this now means my repair talisman no longer works. At least I'm pretty sure it does. Maybe it works on swords that are made of only one material. We could test this. Sadly not. But either way, we now have the ability to fly, and we have a weapon that we can use to kill very effectively. Hmm. Now, what should we do first? Perhaps the best thing that we could do at this time would be... Killing something. Or breaking into a new area of the mods that we haven't really gotten into just yet. Hmm. This is an area of unexpected... Ooh, I know. Let's go up to the Slime Islands. The Slime Island will most certainly be interesting, to say the least. Not very impressive. There's not even anything here. I wonder if this congealed slime is bucketable. Ooh, something else we could do. Uh, we could go to the Aether and fly around, too. And that would be exciting. can even take our gear with us. Ooh. No, no, no. We're not going to the Aether. Let's come over here. I want to mine this. I want the chest on the inside. Because I know that there's a chest in here. A Skystone chest. This is added by... Uh, Applied Energistics mod. You know, it's everyone's favorite mod that adds in computers. Not to mention, this stone is not terrible. Ah, here's the chest. Ooh. Sky stone. Silver nuggets and an inscriber silicon press. Now that's actually pretty good. Let me take this chest too. Probably take a minute to mine it because I believe these are actually considered wooden items. Mm -hmm. I suspect it. jungle. <gasps> Look, these are a very interesting kind of creature called the Myrmex. They only appear in deserts and jungles, and they're like giant ants. And if you can develop a good relationship with the Miramax, they will actually, you know, uh, let you come in and expand their hive. I think this one is a soldier. Mainly the giant mandibles lead me to believe this. But that's very interesting. Oh, it's a grip. Still following us. Yeah. 
Yeah, thankfully we have these wings, so now we don't take fall damage anymore. At least I'm pretty certain we don't take fall damage. Let's hope I'm right. Yeah, recording this is taking a little bit of a load on my computer, so don't worry. Just take a second to catch back up. Okay, good, good. It's loaded more than enough chunks. Oh, Ooh, what's this? Let us take a look in here. stone javelins I mean let's be honest they're not great but a weapon is a weapon okay these are wooden javelins they're even less impressive hmm. but these cauldrons and these anvils are pretty useful especially being unbroken Hmm, very interesting. I think there may be some kind of secret passage in here, too, but I'm not sure. Hmm. Aha! <gasps> Ooh, emeralds! Man, that is an impressive amount of loot right there. Ooh, crap. Uh, I'll just take the relic scraps. I mean, we're unlikely to find anything else of real value here. These furnaces are almost useless to us. Well, that was good. Okay, even more. I, I'm just going to set a waypoint right here, uh, and it's going to be called Pyramids. Hmm. And we're going a bit long here, so I'm going to end it here. See you next time.